Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode. So today we are going to talk about the happy, happiness and satisfaction. Like if you follow me on Instagram, then I posted a poll about what do you think? Well, I mean, what you prefer? Will you go for happiness or will you go for satisfaction? Well, the answer is like 70-30%. I received like 70% wanted to be happiness, but like 30% want to be satisfied so like first understand what is happiness what is happy and what is satisfaction so we are not going to talk much about happy because happy just emotion just an emotion like just like a sad angry just a emotion so we are not going to talk about the happy word we are going to talk about happiness and the satisfaction which is like a whole lot of different concept that we never thought about like i will start with the example Take an example like you want to purchase a phone, a iPhone or whatever it is, a phone. Initially, you feel happy when you purchase a phone, but the level of satisfaction will diminish over a time. Even though you are happy, you may no longer feel satisfied with your home. So after this, I, I searched a lot, I read a lot, I read a lot and I realized happiness is just an objective. Like generally in life, what happens we chase for happiness like behind most of your action choice relationship we demand happiness that's why you like that's why you never thought about satisfaction like you don't know that happiness is different from satisfaction because always from our childhood we always go for the happiness like if if i simply ask you do you feel satisfied with your life well, most of the people will say like, I may feel happy, but I don't know if I'm satisfied or not. Like the same happens with like everyone. So we'll first understand what makes us happy. If I ask this question to you or any of the person, the most probably answer will be like making our parents proud, being nice to people, partying, smoking, watching television, having sex, shopping, like whatever a normal people do that will make you feel happy so the problem is we never really thought about self-satisfaction like something is not on your mind you obviously don't notice it so you don't think about self-satisfaction because your attention is focused on happiness like happiness is objective behind your choice your decision your mind access to the things that you want to do only because that makes you happy so like i want you to do one thing first go and google what is happiness like you will come across a basic basic defini definition about happiness i want you to do it otherwise you will you will may you will may think that i am uh, i am saying something philosophical but it's not philosophical it's like it's like powered by i can say that some research paper some strong points that obviously i was the person who used to follow happiness who have the blindly follow all these things but i realized both are different thing like having self-satisfaction and having happiness is a both different thing now you may think like i said happiness and self-satisfaction both are the different things so what is actually self-satisfaction well let me tell you your major struggle in life is to be happy it's not to be satisfied now self-satisfaction does not mean that you won't be happy but it's something different what it offers is something better uh, in a short in a one line if i want to say that a state of mind called peacefulness you would be peace at with yourself and this is also where the problem comes like to be at peace with yourself you have to know yourself really really well like the question comes how much do you know yourself the answer in lot of cases would be like you don't know you are busy practicing or you want to become someone else so you don't know actually who you are that's why you never thought about the satisfaction to be differentiate between happiness and satisfaction you have to know yourself really really well and this will happen only when you have a knowledge about self like the knowledge of self you will provide understanding about yourself then how the different from whatever you thinks make you happy well there is a there is a difference between what makes you happy and what you are doing 
बिकॉज यू थिंक दैट विल गिव यू हैप्पीनेस लाइक देर आर थिंग्स दैट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी पर्सन इन दिस वर्ल्ड एन्जॉय लाइक द एक्टिविटीज वॉचिंग टी वी और एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू इट दैट एवरी वन एन्जॉय देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग दैट्स यू माइट बी डूइंग फॉर फन विच यू डोंट एक्चुअली एन्जॉय यू जस्ट नेवर केयर टू लिसन टू दैट फीलिंग बिकॉज यू आर आई दर डूइंग देम बिकॉज अदर पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड आर डूइंग देम और बिकॉज पीपल यू लाइक आर डूइंग देम दे आर पॉपुलर एंड दे हैव दे लाइक दे आर दे हैव यू आर वॉन्ट टू बी फ्रेंड विद देम द ट्रूथ इज यू हैवंट आस्कड यूअर सेल्फ ऑनेस्टली इफ यू एक्चुअली एन्जॉय दिस और नॉट सो नाव यू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक देर इज अ थीन डिफरेंस बिटवीन हैप्पीनेस एंड सेल्फ सेटिस्फैक्शन बट स्टिल वाई वी फॉलो और चेज आफ्टर हैप्पीनेस लाइक एवरी वन लाइक एवरी अदर पर्सन द होनेस्ट आंसर इज बिकॉज इट फील्स गुड इट्स फकिंग फील्स गुड दैट्स वाई यू आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड अ डीप स्पिरिचुअल हैप्पीनेस और रिलैक्स टू पोजिशन बिकॉज यू थिंक दैट विल दैट मेक्स यू फील गुड द ट्रूथ इज लाइफ डजेंट रिवॉल्व अराउंड हैप्पीनेस लाइफ इज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट हैज नथिंग टू डू विथ हैप्पीनेस बट वी थिंक इट डज बिकॉज हैप्पीनेस फील्स ग्रेट इट जस्ट द बेस सो वॉट एवर मेक यू मेक यू हैप्पी वॉट एवर मेक यू फील गुड और वॉट यू वॉन्ट और वॉट एवर डजेंट and stop you making happy you don't care about anywhere like we follow happiness like blindly literally blindly follow we happiness like i have seen people cheated on their family or cheated like they if you if you heard about this like most of the uh, most of the person they get af- after getting married they want to get separate why because they find happiness in someone else that's why they think that parents uh, staying with parents won't make them happy that's the biggest problem with the happiness we think happiness attached to someone else if i go deep down into happiness and self satisfaction like it is related to so many things like it's in the medical term it's known as a drd2 protein which produces dopamine and which makes you happy or which makes you addiction so like in other in the type of the psychology it says feeling based and the thinking based we are the human creature we take decision on the feeling based like if if uh, like see this uh, something like feeling based decision may feel like uh, this make me feel good therefore this is good and thinking based says that just because something makes me f- feel good doesn't mean it's good i will think about it like this is the difference between having a real knowledge of happiness so from now whenever something makes you happy think on it like literally pause for a moment and think for a second don't take decision on your feelings think with your brain your logical brain that is it really makes you happy or you, you are doing because everyone around you is doing that's why everyone is feeling happy that's why you will also feel happy that's the problem this is the basic of happiness that we don't understand we follow blindly everyone and we think that if that if that person is happy i will also get happiness if that person get pr- that money and i if that person feels happy after job i will also feel after job that's this is what i want you to think on it the point is like our personal development would be going into feeling based person than the thinking based person like as a child we are clueless about ourselves like almost completely feeling based so back then you want you want to wear and decided by keeping self in mind it was simple but whenever whatever you make you feel about good becomes you want like this is the difference you have you want you have to decide what you want and what you want what you want and what actually makes you feel happy like as a child we take decision on the feeling based because there was no responsibility nothing whatever feels good we do it but naturally as an ad- adult when we become adult we tends to follow the same thing so what we can call this person a aged child obviously you don't want to be a aged child so think on it uh, literally spend some time what really makes you satisfied and what really makes you happy 
uh, there is another doctor which is a doctor on the psychological who says that si uh, happiness is momentarily like from now when you do something which makes you feel happy always consider always remember that do that happiness how much time that happiness stay with you is it momentarily is it hourly is it one day two day or you again go back to the same position obviously you will completely relate to the, relate to this that whenever you do do something like whether it's traveling whether it's having fun with friends or meeting another friend or watching bingo watching something that makes you feel happy for that moment only and like everyone is doing doing it that's why you also do it and you think that is the only happiness and self satisfaction like self satisfaction is on another level we never thought about it because you don't know yourself well now let's come to the another point like you may be heard people say this like why i am not happy even though i have a great life well let me tell you it's because the list of what makes you happy was decided back when you were a clueless confused kid and you stuck with the list of, stuck with the list because it does bring you momentarily happiness and being accepted by you and having relationship with that people or fantasy experience or even achieving something milestone in your career for the approval of others that makes you feel happy but the focus on the self consistency remains untouchable therefore the result is now you know how to be happy in the moment but you aren't satisfied because you have a very distant relationship with yourself and still you are clueless about who you are and what's what makes yourself happy because you don't know you you don't know what actually makes yourself happy now the second part when people say that the people says i know i shouldn't be with them yet i can't stop loving them like this is a basic thing happens as a teenager life when we become best friend with someone probably with the like opposite gender so it's because you can't you can't because a part of your brain convinced that their uni union or your exist their existence bring you the ultimate happiness you feel that way because of the happiness that you once felt with them which is according to your mind is the best feeling ever and because your goal is goal in life is to be happy you are currently don't know of any other happiness better than what you felt with them so like you obsessed with them you want their presence you want so even if you miss them you will feel the pain if you miss you you will miss them you will feel the pain you go into depression so this is how happiness works when you follow happiness this is the basic problem of happiness hope you have understood the happiness like remember that happiness is momentarily momentarily thing that will make you happy but it's not a long lasting or long term so that's why you always think about the self satisfaction now we are going to talk about the self satisfaction like how it comes how you should think about it but before going that be clear with the happiness that happiness is momentarily things it depends on a lot of things you follow your friends your culture because you see them doing that and they feel happy that's why you will feel happy that's how happiness works but self satisfaction is something different as and we are going to talk about it right now as i say that go for the satisfaction not for the happiness your next next question should be that how to find satisfaction how to find self satisfaction well self satisfaction does contains precise knowledge of what would what would what would your make self happy like what makes you happy but it's the only part of the whole picture like self satisfaction start with the knowledge of about self the thing with knowledge of such kind is like it's not applied it's not locked up in the theoretical side of your brain but it can be used to be a smart like you have to be smart you have to be knowledgeable to understand what your self wants like i will say that because after reading so much article self satisfaction is really re not but a little bit hard to find because we are surrounded by oh, 
marketing targeted targeted ads that makes you fool or that makes you a follower so i want you to think about yourself without any like erase everything whatever you know about your society whatever your friends erase everything and just focus on you what really really makes you happy whether it's make whether it's uh, whether it's something doing reading something whatever it is what really makes you happy so what is that you self really want do you want to be an individual or a fucking follower if you choose individual then start investing in whatever draw your attention and interest for yourself this is your thing dude investing in it and growing is what separates you from everybody that is what make you as an individual because you are doing your own thing put whatever you find intellectual stimulate about everybody else is doing like let it be other everyone is obviously job and something all this stuff we do because we are a part of society but we never think about individual that's why we don't know what is actually self satisfaction here i will gi- i will give you another example that i read like about food whichever you think about the food you like a very decent food or whatever it is whatever your food like if you ate that food in a local local store and you were you meal meal you after eating that you may feel satisfactory or you you may might get satisfactory with your full belly but now if you ate that absolutely delicious food in a five star or seven star dining restaurant you might feel really really happy in this case satisfaction comes from more easily steps but happiness is typically more difficult or expensive to get but the problem is most of the people strive for happiness in their life this is the certainly a wonderful goal to reach but i think satisfaction is more difficult and more important to achieve and a lot of come from competitiveness and amb- ambiance so like you have to go for the satisfaction not the happiness like if you are still confused that how we can see about the self satisfaction so i want to do i want you to do one assignment think about your ultimate goal like ultimate that last point of your life you want to achieve and just imagine for a moment that you have achieved that point what do you think whether you will be happy or whether you will be satisfied a think about a very deep deep go deep and think about it whether after achieving whatever you want in life that will make you happy or what will, that will make you satisfied and imagine in like put all the aspects about life whether that will be momentarily or that will be a long lasting say consider for a child obviously the iit i i don't want to take the iit example something bigger like think about your dream if you achieve that that will be for a lifetime or for a short period like for happiness you must right now you must be doing a lot of things that watching tv doing job getting money getting paid for the things those are the things like temporary happiness that gives you a small burst of pleasure that will makes currently happy but that won't make you feel satisfied for in a long run like you you may get payment from the job and something like that related to reading books or watching movies you may feel good today tomorrow maybe for a week you will feel good but what after that obviously you will come to the normal neutral point but if you have achieved something in your life right now then you 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 get satisfaction feeling and that keeps you like keeps you grounded and you think about it like okay i achieved this and that makes me feel satisfied so if you want more meaning and satisfaction in your life it doesn't come from treating from like sitting around a couch or binging on the netflix satisfaction comes from challenging ourselves it is when you are engaged stimulated and discovering it comes from tackling the next assignment in your life or working towards your next mountain or next big goal that you really want to achieve if you achieve that you will definitely get satisfaction and satisfaction is long term happiness is temporary so do two three things first i told you that go google happiness 
you will get a definition of happiness second thing google happiness was a satisfaction the first like first article i guess first article or the first definition you will understand that there is a whole hell lot of difference between happiness and satisfaction i can say that the both are the difference universe and before you do anything think about it think logically whether that really makes you happy or it is just a momentary really happiness it may be anything like watching anything watching doing anything i don't want to take any specific name but think about it like whether that thing really makes you satisfied or really makes you happy if it makes you happy then you have to find what makes you satisfied probably it comes down to the point of ultimately following your passion or achieving your dream so try to understand it if you want to get satisfaction in life because i i met a lot of people over the year like from 20 years to the 40 years and 50 years and when i talk to the old guys like old senior citizens and when they ask them do you feel satisfied they they are they answer like cluelessly like they don't know exactly what they wanted in life and i don't want to do that with anyone so whatever i'm learning i'm putting in the podcast youtube whatever is going to happen so think about it what you really want you in life go for it and like imagine the, as i told you that after achieving your biggest dream will you will you be happy or will you be ha- satisfied if it's satisfied then you have to make sure that you will achieve that point and you will get that feeling of satisfaction or else like in daily routine it's really hard to find satisfaction point because we are surrounded by the friends people and everything and we can't really find what makes really what what yourself wants so it's better to have a long term long lasting dream that will you will achieve in life and that will make you ultimately feel you satisfied so hope you understand first one is like happy it's just emotion there is nothing to do with the happy second point is happiness which is the momentarily which is a sh- short burst of pleasure that makes you happy for the small small amount of time but it is not long lasting third one is satisfaction which we never thought about you have to think about it you have to find it what really makes you happy probably that your dream your ultimate ultimate end goal pro- always makes you satisfied so find it and go for it and i want you to do one thing if you are still listening this please take a screenshot and share it your share share with the insta stories and tag me i would love to reshare reshare those because see my ultimate goal is to to aware about all these things to the everyone who is listening to this or who who new audience or who is the young generation because this is the basic things and if you don't know this probably we will in future we will not know we will not get that feeling so please if you are doing this go share this share as a story and tag me i would love to see you there and i will see you in the next episode thanks